In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Express Session to do authorization in Socket.io. Now, be careful to know that authorization and authentication are two different things. So, we've already authenticated our users using PostgreSQL and Express. And now, when they get to the home screen, we want to authorize them to be able to go into our Socket.io server. But let's say that maybe an attacker is trying to connect to our Socket.io server um, and they're not logged in or something went wrong. So I'm going to go here in the app component and just do socket.connect. And this is just going to simulate that. So I'm going to refresh this page and we're not logged in anymore. And we're going to save this right here. So it's going to try to connect to Socket.io now. And here, See, we're getting um, our servers crashing, we're getting errors, um, things are going wrong, and we can fix that by putting a middleware in our Socket.io server instance. So in our controllers folder, I'm going to create a file called socketcontroller.js, and here I'm just going to do module.exports. Dot, and so I'm going to attach a function to the module exports object, and I'm going to call it a authorize user and so this is a socket IO middleware so it's a function and it takes in as parameters the socket that's trying to connect and next so pretty simply we can just do if not socket dot request dot session dot user if um, there's no user object set on the user's session. And actually, before we even check that, we also want to check if there's not an actual session. So if there's not a socket.request.session or there's no user object attached to the session, then we would just run next, but we would pass in an error into here and we can give an error message of not authorized and then here we would just do next like so just like that and so here we can also print out so we can see when we're debugging um, bad request okay so it's going to check if the socket request has a session object and if that session ob object has a user object and if it doesn't have those objects then the user has no session or he um, he's not logged in so they're not authorized to use our socket IO server and if they have the session and they're logged in then we just run next and that just takes us to the next middleware in socket IO so then to use that we go here to our index.js file and we just do io.use and I named it authorize user. And that's pretty much it. So in Socket.io, any function you pass in here is going to run whenever um, a socket connection comes through. And it goes in order. So first it's going to go here. And then it's going to go here. And then if we do next with no error, it goes to the next one, which would be the on connect. And if there's an error, so we do next with an error, it doesn't run the next middleware and it just um, emits this event right here, which I'm going to show you this event, which is connect error. And in the previous videos, we set this up so that if we get an error connecting, we just set the front end user to back to the login page. So yeah, so let's test this out. I'm going to go over here to the console and let's refresh here. See, so when we're trying to connect, it's a bad request. It's not going through. Now let's log in. So let me log in with the username and password. And Okay, I'm not sure why this random variable is here. But let's try it again. Okay, see and it said the login was good and we passed the authorized user middleware. So we went here, we called next, and it just took us to this event where we log the socket ID and the user's username. So yeah, that's all you need 
to do authorization with Socket.io.